it's just a, it's a really unique town in the fact that there there's never anybody I've never met anybody in Yorkville that um, feels like they're above anyone else and that from parents kids all the way up and down you know it's a it's a hard-working community and you know people are willing to roll up their sleeves and do whatever they can to get it done I think Yorkville's definitely been a great place to grow up um, just driving down the river every morning and thinking like this is my home it's been really special I think people really enjoy spending time with each other here in this community as well and uh, you know, it, it's amazing how Yorkville's still able to keep that small town feel. I think people still are, feel that, that tie to our high school and uh, that's unique, I think, from, for a school our size. We still have a lot of people that like to come and enjoy coming to sporting events. It's really a group effort and when you get the whole packed stadium and the bleachers are full and people are watching from around the track, it's just awesome. Uh, growing up here, I used to go to the football games. I mean, it was always like looking up to those kids. And then finally, like last year, being able to play and you're the dude that people are looking up to now, it's just special. Fox Valley Television welcomes you live from Campbell Field. The undefeated Yorkville Foxes welcome once again to Campbell Field. Fox Valley. Now let's talk about these Yorkville Foxes, boy. Two years ago they finished two and seven. Last year they also finished two and seven. A far cry from being a playoff team, but yet here they are, one win away from getting to the six eight quarter. I think that's really unique about Yorkville. Everybody's uh, you know willing to do the little things to be successful, and that's no different here at all. It's just fun to watch and fun, fun to be a part of. We weren't doing too well and then we're, we came together and worked as a team and the community just pushed us to do that because we wanted to prove ourselves. We learned how to win. Like, we kind of changed the culture of just expecting to win, expecting to play well, and it's normal. Like, that's a big thing is confidence. We gained a lot of confidence last year. The group that just graduated, our, our, our class of 2019 kids, owe them a lot of, you know, a lot for what they did for our program. Um, you know, they took some lumps and, and stuck with us, and that says a lot about them. I'm, I'm always, always will be indebted to them for their uh, hard work and, and building of our program. Sports, it's pretty much a, a 12 month deal where you gotta you gotta be involved with your sports all you know throughout the year. It's a, it's a constant commitment. I mean, if you don't love the sport, like it's not for you. Don't be complacent. Don't settle for just being average and just finishing the drill. Push yourself. You gotta be ready to, to do everything you can to be as good as you can. Time you're gonna get better. That is the only way you're gonna get better. I'm not gonna let you get lazy. Not my job. You guys have to push each other as well. Let's go, Jack. 
change the culture. It starts now. There's a lot of things we talk about all the time that you don't have control over out on the football field. You have control over your effort. You have control over what goes on in that weight room. So take care of it. There's no excuse. And again, if there's something we need to do differently, tell me. I don't have a problem with that, but there's no excuse to not work harder. Got it? Okay, gentlemen, please help me with whatever you can. Get a break, and let's go to our meetings. Let's go on out. Let's go get a break. I think um, it's always been kind of headed in the right direction. and we got to continue to have success on the field to build our program, and we've got the right kids to do it. Friday nights are awesome. It's something that you think about all year, the, that nine-week span. It's just it's really special. You can just see everybody kind of, there's just a buzz throughout the school that we're, you know, there's something special going on that day. The whole day you kind of thinking ahead about that game, like what's going to happen. Once school gets out, you know, it's, we got our little speech with the team, then we're getting food, and then we're getting ready. Throughout the day, it starts to get more real. You start to get butterflies in your stomach. Are we getting ready to go for the game? We start getting hyped up. The group chat starts getting fired up. Come in the locker room, get ready. Get the speakers going. walk out across the street, there's, there's nothing like it. You just hear everybody's cleats walking in unison. The band walking us out. You just feel dangerous. Another neat thing is a lot of kids come to our games. And you know, there's a whole section of kids and, and, and they sit in this whole area, stand around and play and have fun. And that just puts the roar before, you know, so you can slowly hear that roar go more and more before the game. For me, it's always like the first um, running out in the field. That's something that I always think about. And then to look up, and the stands are always packed, and we're not necessarily like the biggest town or anything, but I think people really rally around the football team. Pre-game, it's a lot of butterflies. It's a good nervous energy. And Lauren Sherman, they are the daughters of David Payson. <laughs> I also think our band does a tremendous job of really building that, that beginning and getting the whole crowd energized. It's just amazing to watch it kind of slowly get to that crescendo with playing the world again. Once that first snap comes, then I'm just ready to go.
I think most importantly, our, our kids, they, they leave better people than what they started out as. He pushed us and he showed us that he, he cared about us and that's what matters most to us, just being cared about as a team. You guys are great. I mean, the friggin' lights aren't working. I mean, if you think about everything you guys could have thrown up in the ball and potted about, we come out, you know, we're, we're down big and you guys just keep fighting. And I'm proud to be your coach. You guys fought your ass off and I can't tell you how proud I am to be associated with you guys. And I appreciate all you do. He really just, I don't know, he let us be a family. And he let us do what we wanted to do. And let us do what we were good at. That might be the get best game I've ever witnessed. Yeah! Yeah! Let alone coached it. Yeah. Holy, you know what. Right now, I look really good, but I didn't do anything different than I've ever done. You guys made it all happen. Yeah! Yeah. If I wasn't on the football team, I'd be a very different person, and I wouldn't have the friendships I have now. I had a lot of hard times, and everyone was there to support me, always. And I think that's the most important thing you get out of football, is just the relationships and the bonds you build through like hard work out in the field. and knowing that like you walk past somebody in the hallway, they have the jersey on, they've gone through everything that you've gone through. And last year as a team, I mean, we were a family, so I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to play with anybody else. You know, you can tell that these kids, from being a part of what we do and being dedicated and, and part of it, you can tell that they become better people when they leave. Hey, yeah! Glenn, what do you got to say? Yeah! The best reward as a teacher and coach is to see kids come back and be successful in life.
that's why teachers are teachers and coaches are coaches. They want to see people you know, be successful and, and uh, you know, down the road see some of the, the, the positives that hopefully, like I said, I contributed to at least a little bit.